Good morning, everyone. It's always astonishing to me when I hear people talk about Israel and question whether it has a... You know, there are 56 Islamic states in the world. And there are over 100 countries that have... And over 100 countries that have a majority of Christians in it. But there's only one little tiny Jewish state, which is so small that it's about 1 25th the size of France and approximately the same size of Kruger National Park in South Africa. And yet, people begrudge Israel one small tiny homeland, despite all the persecution and anti-Semitism, most recently the Holocaust that we've endured. And I wonder how could people not allow Israel, or question Israel's right to have one homeland for the entire Jewish nation. But this week's Torah portion tells us about the importance of the land of Israel and the holiness of the lands of Israel. After the Torah describes in detail the laws of morality, which sexual relationships are forbidden to us and how we should have sanctity and morality in our physical intimate relationships only exclusively with our loved ones permitted to us by Jewish law. The Torah then says the following, and if you obey these laws of morality, then the earth, the land of Israel, will not spit you out, will not vomit you out from the land. And our rabbis explain that what the Torah is telling us is that the land of Israel is a holy land. It's not like another land. It's the holy land, as it's referred to and called by every other nation in the world, the only country called the holy land by all. And because it's the Holy Land, it could only tolerate holy and righteous behavior. And when the Jewish people do not obey the laws of the Torah and live in a way contrary to the morality of the Torah, then the land of Israel will vomit and spit them out. And then that explains, of course, the many exiles the Jewish people have sustained. And the message is, of course, that well, the Torah wants the Jewish people to be a model of a country for the rest of the world. That we should establish one corner of the world, one tiny land, that should be guided exclusively by the principles and the values of the Torah and Judaism. To hopefully set an example for the entire world. And we know that nothing makes us prouder as Jews when we see that. And time and again when we become the nation that exports for example, right now in Ukraine, the only field hospital operating from any country in the world is from Israel with over 65 doctors and nurses and clinics and x-rays and surgery rooms, the only country in the world. Then we look and we say that's the model of why Israel was created because that inspires and empowers the rest of the world to look at Israel as an example and try to emulate that standard. But of course, when we don't live to the standard of the Torah, then the land says, you don't belong in this land because this land was given to you to set an example for the rest of the world. You know, and Passover, the morning after Passover, Vice President Camilla Harris, uh, the day after Passover, put out a picture of her Seder table because her husband is Jewish and she wished everyone a happy Passover. But then they started to be fierce critics, pro-Palestinian critics. Why? Because on the table, at a Seder table, was a bottle of wine called Sagot. Sagot is a city in the Judean hills in the territory of Benjamin. And they have one of the best wineries with the finest wines. And on the vice president's table at her Seder was the Sagot wine. And the pro-Palestinian group started to post how could she have wine made in the settlements, occupied territory, and the vice president went and deleted the picture and put up another picture of her table without the wine in it from a different angle. And they had to put out a statement saying the wine at the table of the vice president does not in any way reflect the, the, the opinion or the position of the administration. How sad it is that there are those that seek to destroy the little land of Israel not realizing that Israel is not only a blessing for the Jewish people, but Israel is meant to be and is a blessing for all of humanity. And therefore, not only shouldn't they oppose 
the state of Israel, they should support it. And when we talk about Israel, how can we not talk about the heartland, the biblical land of Israel, the area of Judea and Samaria, where Jews have lived for thousands and thousands of years. Have a wonderful day.